So I totally outdid myself. Does that not look delicious? Hey guys, it's your girl Kate and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give a girl a thumbs up if you like what you see. In my last video, I attempted curried kunk for the first time and it turned out really, really good. However, I felt like I could have done better. So in today's video, we'll be doing my upgraded curried kunk recipe. So I gave my kunks a good rinse in some lemon juice and water and now you'll see me pot drying them before I cut them into smaller pieces and use my meat tenderizing mullet to tenderize the kunks before I cut them into smaller bite sized pieces. So once I've finished cutting my kunk into bite-sized pieces, I'm going to add all of my dry ingredients along with half of the onion and bell peppers and the garlic. I'm going to be saving the scallion, hot pepper and thyme for when I'm actually going to be cooking the kunk. In addition, I will be using two curry powders and a bit of turmeric to incorporate with my kunk as well and then I'm going to cover that with some plastic wrap and let it marinate for an hour before cooking. So after an hour, I filled my Dutch pot halfway with water and I let that come to a boil. Once it is boiling, I'm going to add my kunk and let it continue to boil for an additional 30 minutes before I drain my kunk. Remember guys to keep the water because we're going to add that back in later. Once again, guys, I apologize. My camera turned off and I did not realize. In the pot, after I drained the kunk, I just added some coconut oil with a tablespoon of butter. Now you'll see me adding in all of the vegetables except the thyme. What I'm doing is just frying off the vegetables before I add the kunk back to the pot. Once I add the kunk back to the pot, I'm going to let that fry up for a bit before adding my cup of coconut milk and a bit of the water that we drained off from the kunk. Bye. 
So once I've added my coconut milk and my water, I'm going to add in the carrots and potatoes before I allow the pot to simmer for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. So after about 20 minutes, I remove the lid from the pot and give it a stir. Oh my gosh, guys, does that not look delicious? Oh my gosh. I gave it a taste test at this time and it needed nothing more. It was on point. Oh, does that not look good? Look at that, guys. Oh my gosh. Oh, you guys have to give this one a try. I plated this with some white rice, a side of tomato, and some fried breadfruit. It was so good. I ate this three times. I kid you not. <laughs> It was so good, but thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. I hope you give the recipe a try until next time guys Bye